My lord, the men we imprisoned during the writing, they remain in the dungeons. Interesting. I'll be sure to go and visit them. You stay here, soldier. I will send you those who agree to take the black. Have no fear. I will return to collect them before taking them to the wall with me. You shan't have to trouble yourself with that. I can send a few men north with provisions and equipment for the Night's Watch. Thank you, brother. You are welcome, my friend. You may find men in the town streets ready to be enlisted. Some of them have lost so much. Did that murderer Patrick? I couldn't bear eating in the common hall with him around. That son of a bitch. Moors. Patrick, what are you doing here? It's forbidden to talk to the prisoners, Moors. You'll have to move off you and whoever your friend is there. This man is Sir Alistair Sarwick, a very old friend of mine. I can fully vouch for him. I see. All the same, that's no concern of mine. You said that Patrick was your prisoner. What did he do? There have been some very grisly murders committed. mean the brothers found with their chests cut open. Adam Flowers was leading the investigation and has declared that Patrick is the culprit. It has nothing to do with me. You have to trust me, Moors. I barely knew the murdered ones. From what I understand, the crimes all seem to be wildling rituals. What makes you think Patrick is responsible? Adam says he has evidence. I'm not supposed to say anything more. Everyone here at Castle Black knows that Patrick came to us from beyond the wall. I'm not going to interfere in your investigation. I have enough problems of my own to deal with. You again, Morse. I'd like to lead my own investigation into this. Well, I suppose I can give you access to the old stables where one of the murders happened. But you have to promise to me that you won't bugger up what we're doing. On my honor. If you're a friend of Moore's, you can't be short of it. Tell the guard on duty I sent you. He'll let you through. Thank you, Duncan. about him? He's with me and has permission too. Go and check with Duncan if you don't believe me. No, I believe you. You can go through. Flowers. Moors, it's been a long time. And you, my lord, how can we help you? Have you come to join our order? No, I am just here to accompany Moors on his voyage. I am Sir Alistair of House Sarwick. So, you're from the South. I would have enjoyed talking to you about the delights of the Riverlands. 
Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare. I have an investigation to lead. That's why I've come to see you. It would seem that Patrick has been arrested. All our leads do point to his guilt, I'm afraid. It's a grisly business. In total, five of our brothers have been found with their chests open and their hearts ripped out. And what evidence do you have to think that Patrick killed them? These murders are wildling rituals. There's little doubt they've been performed as sacrificial rites. And Patrick was found beyond the wall. I've long suspected him of being a wildling. What's more, he was close to each of the crime scenes. At Icemark, he was one of the builders whom Halfhand was charged with protecting. As it happens, he was also there in Moldstown at the very moment there was a murder in the tunnels. He was with me when we were searching the tunnels. That proves nothing. He must have killed him before that. Walder was with him at Sybil's, but he was in a drunken sleep just before the crime. Patrick must have taken advantage of this to take his leave quietly. And now the stables. Who do you think was found in the area? Him again. For me, it's absolutely clear. Patrick is the killer. It makes sense, as everything leads us to believe he's a wildling. Patrick is no wildling. I will swear on it. He's a true northerner who only went beyond the wall to avenge his family. I'd really like to believe you, Moors. But the evidence is overwhelming. What evidence? Is there more? Searching carefully through his belongings, we found some wildling objects. Trinkets made of feather and bone. They were well hidden, but they bear a striking resemblance to the dire things we found where each of the murders happened. It's best you start believing it, Moors. I have fought alongside Patrick. He's a loyal brother. I'll do my own investigating. Come on, Alistair. Do as you wish, Moors. But just remember that I'm the officer in charge, so try not to get in the way of our work. dog tore the other one's throat right out. I've never seen anything like it. That man is the best warrior I've ever set eyes on. <laughs> Morse, you're back. And it seems you've brought a southern friend. Is that him? We'll have to talk later, Lothor. We're in the middle of an investigation and have precious little time. I'll wager it's about the murder of Miles. Am I right? I might have something for you. He was an old friend of mine. It seems Miles came to these outbuildings before he died. Were you here then by any chance? Aye. I saw him leave the building with Patrick just before his tragic death. Patrick, you say? Yet he claimed not to know any of the victims. Let's go back and speak to him. I swear to you, he wrung his neck. And his dog tore the... I need to 
to ask your prisoner a few questions about the murders. Very well. But be quick. I'll give you a few minutes. Thank you. Patrick, you know about the rumors going around that you're a wildling, don't you? You know it's all all shit as well as I do, Moors. But Adam seems to have found several wildling objects in your belongings. Someone's trying to pin it on me. I've no idea where those things have come from. If that's true, I won't let them execute you. Believe me, but I've just discovered that you were seen with Miles near the outbuildings, right before he died. Earlier, you claimed not to know any of the victims. If you're hiding things from me, don't expect my help. I made a promise, Moors. I swore by the gods. You're about to be shortened by a head, Patrick. You would betray the word of a brother? Wasn't it you who taught me that the bond that unites us is as strong as the wall itself? Your silence does nothing to further my search, Patrick. And a murderer still runs free, killing our brothers one by one. I... You no doubt speak truly. I got on quite well with Miles. I saw a lot of him since we returned from our mission at your side. However, he was worried since his fierce argument with what? He even intended to leave Castle Black. He was scared he'd be killed. Miles was going to forswear his vows? I tried to talk him out of it, Moors, but he made me promise not to give away his secret. And do you know what was behind his argument with what? It was something about a patrol they'd both been in, but I wasn't able to find out anything more. It might serve as well to have a few words with this what. You've had your time, lads. What? Can I ask you a few questions? Of course, Mort. I'm told you had a heated chat with Miles just before he died. Who told you that pile of steaming dung? I never had any quarrel with Miles. He was one of my best friends here. Stop lying. You make an ideal suspect for this. So I suggest you start talking unless you want to face the consequences. Very well then. Miles... Miles wanted to go see the Lord Commander to tell him what we knew and... I stopped him from going. That's why we fell out. What did Miles know? There's a connection between the murders and the patrol we were in a few years ago. Tell us about it. Very well. Four years ago, Miles and I were both part of a mission beyond the wall. We were on the trail of a band of wildlings, but they found us first. I don't remember much more. Just that it ended in gruesome circumstances. One of our brothers had had his heart torn out by the wildlings. Miles was reminded of this when he heard about these recent murders. So, all the murders are linked to this old patrol? Even worse than that, according to Miles, the five brothers who've been killed were members of it. One by one, we're being picked off like fleas. So why didn't you mention this earlier? Because my memory of it is very... vague. But as for Miles... He was certain the killer had to be one of us. A member of that patrol. He wanted to warn Lord Commander, but I stopped him. We can't go accusing one of our own based on vague memories. Do you remember who was in the patrol? Who was in charge? Not really, no. It was all so long ago. The worst thing is not knowing what's behind the next tree. I can imagine. Thank you for your help, Watt. Alistair, we should go check the patrol records. They might clear all this up. You must find the one that's doing this, Mars. I really don't want to end up with a hole in my chest. Oh, the trail is taking moves. shape. There's more to do yet. Let's hope we find what we need in the Lord Commander's records. We risk finding further victims if we waste too much time. <laughs>